Kelly Rucker and Chris Foud once again bringing the horses out for tonight's sixth race. This is the final of the three-year-old Philly Pace, $100,000 the purse, closing in on $100,000 in career earnings. A four-time winner on the season. Number one is kicking in, known by the partnership of Brown and Russo, trained by Brian Brown. She is driven by Dave Hawk. This next expensive scooter filly has several fast Ohio Sire Stakes wins to her credit this season, among them a 153 and 4 Sire Mart, making her the fastest horse in the field. BB Butterfly, owned by the partnership of Banky, King, and Banky, trained by Calvin Holler, the driver Randy Tharps. Leading the field in wins in 2002 with seven to her credit and a 56 and 4 mark at Lexington. Number three is There's a Story to It, owned by Patricia French, trained by Sam Coben with Chip Noble. A four-time winner this season, she boasts a 155 and four mark taken in a Sire Stakes event here at Scioto. Number four is Come On Frankie, owned by the partnership of Summers and Rhodes, trained by Dave Abbott with David Miller driving. Second leading money earner in her three-year-old season with $52,221 in earnings, six wins in 2002 and a 154 and three mark at Northfield Park. Number five, Meadowland Diamond. Oh, by the partnership of Hoovler and Metters, trained by Mike Metters, the driver, Jamie Dunlap. With a 156 record at Rosecroft, his daughter of Camtastic has five winning tallies to her credit. Number six, Miss Doshi, owned by Leroy Smith, trained by Mike Metters and driven by Brian Sears. The standout in her division, this daughter of Village Connection, followed her outstanding two-year-old campaign up with an equally impressive three-year-old season. She has now topped $170,000 in earnings in her two years on the track with 16 victories to her credit. Number seven is Sand Squaw, owned by Bill Sanders, trained by Ty Loy and driven by Brett Miller. Another daughter of Village Connection, she leads this field with wins on the season, winning in 10 of 18 tries, including a 155 mark at Scioto. Number eight, Cinco de Mayo, is owned by trainer Sam McDonough and driven by Walter Case Jr. That's your field for the sixth race. Post time and seven Jr. on the outside. They're lined up and set to go. They're off to an even beginning in Sand Squaw, wasting no time. She heads right out to take the lead, but Cinco de Mayo charges out from the far outside and looks to challenge her early on. We come a length and a half farther back on the outside. Meadowland Diamond parked in third, kicking in from the pylons, drives through into third position. BB Butterfly has settled away in fifth, a length and a quarter clear of There's a Story to It, followed by Come On Frankie, and Miss Doshi is the early trailer as Sand Squaw wants the front end, and she's got it now, 27-3 passing the stands for the first time and Sand Squaw is going to cut the mile now she leads it by a length and a quarter Cinco de Mayo is racing in second BB Butterfly is ranging up on the outside third kicking in his back to fourth Meadowland Diamond edges to the outside to grab live cover in fifth followed by there's a story to it come on Frankie is eight in arrears and the trailer is Miss Doshi as they round the clubhouse turn and it's BB Butterfly moving up on the outside to try to tackle Sand Squaw for the lead 56 and one out of the turn and down the backstretch and Sand Squaw leads by one length. BB Butterfly inching ever closer on the outside second. Cinco de Mayo hot on the leader's heels from third. Meadowland Diamond comes into contention fourth two and a half off the lead. Kicking in hemmed in fifth. There's a story to it. Third over in sixth. Followed by Come On Frank who has one horse beaten and that is Miss Doshi as they head on to the far turn. Sand Squaw pressed by BB Butterfly. 124 and three moving on to the far turn and Sand Squaw Puts it into high gear and kicks away by three. Cinco de Mayo is racing in second. BB Butterfly could not go on. Followed by kicking in and Meadowland Diamond as they straighten away. They have Sand Squaw to catch. She's on top by four lengths. Racing in second. It's Cinco de Mayo followed by BB Butterfly and kicking in. But the three year old Philly pacing champ is Sand Squaw. She wins it by three and a half. Cinco de Mayo and BB Butterfly 153 and two. A new stakes record. Heading back to the winner's circle, it's Sand Squaw. She records her eighth victory in 12 attempts this season, scoring any career best 153 and two.
That is a new stakes record for the three-year-old daughter of Village Connection from Cherokee Woman by No Nukes, owned by Bill Sanders, trained by Ty Loy. That's another win tonight for Brett Miller. Sand Squaw is the winner of the three-year-old Philly Pace final. In the winner's circle, helping to make the presentation to the winning connections with the Ohio Standard Bread Development Fund, Robert Schmidt. with winning owner Bill Sanders. Here's John Pavlock. Well, he gets the uh, door prize for coming the farthest from Stevenson, Alabama, and it's worth it. There aren't many Phillies in this state who have won $100,000 in back-to-back -back season. She's the defending champion. You've got to be very proud, Bill. I'm very proud of her. She's a very nice filly, and uh, it's always exciting to come up and watch her. She always gives her best performance, and tonight she did the same. And a new uh, stakes record here tonight is icing on the cake. Now, will she go back and try to get a little retribution? She faltered a bit down at Delaware last year, and uh, I know you'd like to add that one. Yes, we're going to give it a shot, and uh, hope that she stays healthy, and uh, maybe she'll do it. How does a fellow from Alabama get involved and involved so deeply in Ohio harness racing? Well, this is a long story, but uh, Ohio is my second home, and I started racing here about 12, 14 years ago, and everybody's been good to me, and I've just really enjoyed the competition and the people here. Been very I have a feeling that uh, although there's a big check going back to Alabama, it's going to come back to the jug sale. Oh, well, I'll be here. <laughs> oh, the rest of the owners here in the state of Ohio better be well. Bill Sanders, congratulations. Stan Squaw, $100,000 winner, two consecutive years in Ohio. It's an easy game. All you have to do is put the uh, checks in the bank, people.